breaking news. EFCC arrest S. Zanfra Governor Abdulaziz Yari. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people in YouTube, God bless you for coming by and stopping by again. This is your sister, Chema, your regular host. Thank you for being part of this channel. God bless you. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please, this is one of the ways you can help your sister to grow this channel. And appreciate me once again by clicking on that red subscription bell. Maybe you may have been passing or you are watching without subscribing. Guys, just help your sister grow this channel together. We are one family here in YouTube. God bless you. And to my returning subscribers, Words cannot explain greatness of your being in this channel once again. God bless you. Let's get into the news. The Economic and Financial Crime Commissioner, EFCC, has arrested the former governor of Zamfara State, Abulaziz Yari. Yari was arrested for alleged illegal financial dealing and misappropriation of fund, Guardian reports. The former governor is being detained at the Sokoto office of the commission. EFCC spokesperson Wilson Ugu, Ugu Jarin confirmed the arrest and said Yari was interrogated for about seven hours before he was detained in Sokoto. Some of the alleged financial, inf financial infractions against Yari include the sum of 56 points, 056 points, 75 reportedly loaded in his account with a Polaris bank and 12.9 million and 11.2 million <laughs> and 300 and 303 million dollars and 217 388 million and Sought to be, let's take that again. This said to be kept in different accounts in the name of Yari and his accompanies. <laughs> Guys, hope you are hearing the billions of dollars, Naira, that is being mentioned here. Hope you are hearing this. Hope you are hearing this. Guys, in a foreign country, in a senior environment, why will a, a, a past governor have this kind of money in his account? You will be investigated right there and then. Because every Tom, Harry and Dick knows how much your salary is. Knows how much your allowance is. Knows how much you spend. And knows how much you save. So when have you kept, when have you saved this kind of money? To be in your account. What are you working? What are you doing? Government will, you know, do all these things in a way that as soon as the money is coming in into your account, the system will dictate how the money was generated. The system will dictate how you get the money, what you did to get that money, and check if there are things you were asked to do with money which you have not done or you have not finished or you did not do they will know where that money, that money is coming from but it is not in Africa they will pack and pack and pack and pack and pack their Nigerian accounts will be filled they will start transferring it abroad and believe you me because it is coming from Africa these people will not care to know how you made that money because you why you are not their citizen too that money is not coming from that from their own uh, country and they needed the foreign money you know for people to bank with them that is why their economy grow that's why their economy grow believe you me they don't care but if it is their own citizen or the person living in their country, you will come and explain to them. If, of course, before the money comes in, the system has already known. Because everybody knows how much you have been earning. You, you have been earned at the end of the month. Everybody knows how much you are, you, you are supposed to take home as a governor. How much you are supposed to take home as a senator. So where will you not, where will that come, come up with a fraud with? How can people see fraud? And how, can, how would you practice, practice fraud? Is this not possible? That's not possible. You can before you go into fraud in 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 in, in a senior environment or in abroad, <laughs> it's not even possible. It is not. But in Africa, it is a free flow movement. 
A governor can pocket the money meant for IDPs. They don't care. A governor can pocket the money meant for, you know, look at ordinary palliative that foreign countries donated to Nigeria to share to their citizens because of the COVID. Guys, these people hide everything. They hide everything. None gets to the people that until the answers issue came up and people was breaking into the whole garage to pack them out. The ones that are spoiled are spoiled. The ones that are good, a very little thing, they manage it. Guys, if nothing is being done to fix this problem in Africa of fraud, corruption, fraud, corruption in Africa, it will still continue to roll that way. It will still continue to be that way. It will still continue to lavish. That. It will still be the same thing. System must be put in place to checkmate these people. Not even after going out, after resi or after you know concluding their tenure, and you start inviting them. You saw this money. You saw this money. No, it should be as soon as that money is coming in into that that account. You have uh, 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 cited it and know where the money can come from. Then you can call to say, how, where did this money come from? No, it's not in Nigeria. How many months now, how many years now has this man left office? It's barely two years. He left office. It is now they are inviting him. They saw this money. They saw the other one. If nothing is being done to checkmate and put these corruption issues in order, it will continue to that it will continue to generations on board. It will continue unabated. Guys, that is why their friends are insisting they want to go their separate way. In order to checkmate these things, in order to put it in order, in order to, you know, to block those routes in which they are stealing this money. Look at Zamfara. What what uh, what do they call it? Bandits are is doing there on daily basis. Every day, bandits are you know destroying people, doing all manner of things there. Yet they have the money. If you give them money to go and buy equipment to fight those guys to stupor, those money will be shared. Those money will be shared. But yet a past governor had this kind of money in his different account domiciled there. What are these people teaching? Their friends want to go. Let us see if we can fix ourselves. Let us fix, see if we can fix our own system. Or do the ones say they want to go? Let them see if they can fix their own system and call the spade the spade and stop romancing with bandits and, and, and terrorists. Guys, I'm wrapping it up here. Let us take some reactions and what people say about this and we call it a day. This was a say, long overdue. Buari said Saraki and Dogara stopped him from delivering his campaign promises to Nigeria during the 8th Assembly. Now we are in 9th Assembly and neither Bukola nor Dogara are in, the, are in, are in to stop him fulfill his campaign promises to Nigeria, as claimed. Morose, he has a year more to spend, but the Senate have nothing to do about it anyway i don't understand what this person is writing about let's wait and see what will happen next let us get another comment here who cares and nigeria now <laughs> you can see it and another person reply and said what's your saraki and dogara is it once your saraki and dogara is it office of the senate president house of red speaker and what ye is this you talk like an empty vessels guys and everybody on its own opinion this is this person's opinion guys we want to wrap it up here let us carry on at the comment section please as you comment comment constructively what have you to say the past immediate past governor of uh, zamfara state yare has been detained by efcc this is just for show sake it is not reality. They, they aren't going to do anything to him. After questioning and parading him and all that, they will leave him and he will go and continue his looting. Tell me your own opinion in the comment section. As you comment, comment constructively. I will see you again in the other news. Bye for now.